Take a chance, you never know But you don't know it's beautiful Hi guys and welcome back to Deja Nicole TV. It's your girl Miss Deja Nicole, obviously. First I just want to start off guys for apologizing for not uploading last week but I really need to get that week to myself to not really worry about trying to record and film and edit and staying up all night you know trying to get things done. I just it's been so much going on that I just needed that week to myself and I'm so happy that I did. Thank you so much guys for understanding even though y'all really didn't have a choice that I was going to post regardless. But it is a new week, it is a new day, and I'm here, and I'm ready. I have a stronger attitude, a better attitude, you know, a better mindset towards this new endeavor, this new journey. And most of all, I have a lot more clarity as far as where I'm going to take my channel and things like that. So that's pretty much a little bit of what this video is going to be about today. This is pretty much just going to be like a chit chat. We're not going to be talking about hair today. We're not going to be talking about makeup. We're not going to be talking about beauty, none of that. We're going to be talking about me and God. So... This whole YouTube thing in general, I wanted to kind of like rebrand myself. It may sound funny to say rebrand because I'm just getting started, but I was trying to figure out a way to just incorporate certain things with, within my YouTube channel and within Instagram itself. Um, for those of you who do know me, you know that I'm a Christian. I am a firm believer in Jesus Christ. So I pretty much felt like there was no way for me to tackle this platform with YouTube or with Instagram, whatever, or just anything that I do in general without having God be the forefront or part of everything that I do. Like, there's just no way. It missed I, me thinking about everything as far as, like, where it is that I want to take my channel or, like, where I see myself years from now or days from now, months from now. With this, I was just kind of got discouraged, I guess you can say. I don't feel qualified to do what it is that, one, I believe that I should be doing something that I have been wanting to do for years and something that I honestly I honestly truly believe that God has called me to do like I don't I don't feel qualified and with this situation it's not that I felt like I didn't have what it takes but I always see myself doing ministry even though it may not have been like physically picking up a bible and quoting scriptures and you know you know <laughs> you know being at different like conferences and whatnot and speaking motivationally just just talking just being some type of encouragement somebody that another person can listen to and glean get help from see god in me and you know want to be attached and want to be a part and just pretty much along my testimony and you know things that i've experienced my relationship with god and just me growing period me as an individual you know being some finding some inspiration and some encouragement from that so yeah i was laying in the bed and i was just thinking about everything i was just like i don't feel qualified to do what it is that i feel like i what i want to do with this channel i don't feel qualified and i don't feel qualified for what god has called me to do with this channel and as i sat there and started to think and i'm just like if you don't feel qualified then what qualifies you what qualifies you to you know have this platform to share your gifts and your talents and you know your relationship and with God and just you know your faith and everything in general what will qualify you then if you feel like you being where you are now isn't qualifying you then what will and I was just like well I don't have this I feel like you know I'm not where I should be here I'm not where I should be there I can grow better here I can do this that and the third and I was I was thinking I was thinking like Deja you want yourself to be perfect you want yourself to have a perfect relationship with God. You want yourself to have a perfect self-esteem, a perfect confidence. You want yourself to have like a, a perfect, I don't want to say lifestyle, but, a, but like a perfect appearance and everything in order to do this when realistically you're not. No one is. Nobody's perfect. Why should I be? You know, the only perfect man that walked walk this earth was Jesus. And I sat there and I realized that, you know, salvation is a continuous process. Like it's not a one and done situation, even though I wish it was. Honestly, like I wish the day I got saved that bam, that was it. I was perfect, everything was fine, it had no worries or troubles, but it's not like it's a consistent walk. And I have issues, I have struggles, I have flaws, all caps for all three. It's just a process. And as long as I continue to fear God and uh, you know, include Him in the things that I do, continue to have built and establish a relationship with him continue to you know walk this journey i'll be fine i'm gonna mess up i'm gonna have problems i'm gonna fall i may slip whatever the case may be but as long as i can continue to have my eyes towards him you know i'll be fine which i was just like creating these obstacles and everything in my head as far as why i felt like i can't do this <laughs> 
And I know um, in this time, well, just like in general, you know, having the, the, you know, the word believer or Christian or saved, religious, attached to your name, preacher, pastor, first lady, minister, anything tied into God, having any type of that connection, you know, to you this day and age is just like key word for, oh, now I got to watch her every move. Oh, she did this, but oh, you're supposed to be saved. Oh, she did this. Oh, she's supposed to be a believer. You're supposed to be a Christian. Da, 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 da. Like people hate the fact that we, that we say that I'm a believer. I believe in God, I'm saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, you know, all that other stuff, and just expect us to be perfect and just, like, do no wrong. And when it's not true, like, I'm, I'm a human being just like you. And the only thing is that, yes, when I fall, when I mess up, you know, I have someone that I can turn to. So I never understood why people always had that type of viewpoint towards us. And, like, as I'm sitting here talking about it, I'm thinking about the Walls Group song. They have a song that they dropped a couple years ago called, like, Perfect People. Like, there's literally no perfect people in this world. Like, we all make mistakes. We all mess up. We all have issues and problems and things that we struggle with. Like, every single one, one of us. Your struggle in God's eyes is no different than my struggle. Just because I have a, you know, I say I'm a believer and everything attached to me does not mean that I can't. I can't mess up doesn't mean that I can't slip up so a part of my fear with this which really shouldn't be a fear I want to get in front of the world and say that I'm this that and the third and profess God and when I do mess up people think that I'm a hypocrite I was a little bit concerned as far as like keeping up in appearance to people kind of reminded me of my testimony and my journey and I remember telling my dad a few years ago um, we was talking about, you know, some stuff that I've been went through in the past. And there's this Bible verse, which I love. I got the numbers. Ooh, I'm fat. <laughs> but I have the numbers of the Bible verse right here. Um, Romans 8, 28. It's my favorite verse of the Bible because of my testimony. I'll have it, you know, um, down below. I think the Bible, the Bible verse says, uh, you know, all things work together for the good of those who love God, those who are called according to his purpose. Something along that nature. Pretty much saying that as long as we believe in him that he's going to take the things that in the past may have been bad the things that may have affected us you know the things that you may be ashamed of the things that I'm ashamed of the things that you know you wish that you didn't do and stuff like that he's going to take it and work it for our good is he's going to turn it around for the betterment of us but not just us for the betterment of other people and I remember telling telling my dad you know I didn't want to do this I didn't want to speak on it I didn't want to talk about stuff that I you know the stuff that I went through the stuff that I put myself in or just stuff that's happened to me in general my testimony I was too afraid to talk to speak on it because I didn't want the group of people that is also affiliated in what it is that I was struggling with to think that I'm a hypocrite oh well you did it now all of a sudden like you think you perfect or how you gonna come and tell me that what I'm doing is wrong if you was doing it and stuff like that like I didn't want that I remember him saying like that should be more all more of a reason for you to do it so that they can see that you've changed they can see that you're no longer that person so they can see that you were here I'm here but if you was able to get to the other side and do this and a third then I can do that too so that's why when he explained that verse to me that's why that verse has became my ultimate favorite verse and that's kind of what I'm thinking about as far as like this situation as well like, none of us are going to be perfect. And I didn't want people to, you know, not want to come to Christ, not want to be, uh, you know, affiliate themselves in our religion because they see when I may mess up. They may see when I may slip up and stuff like that and then not want to do it. But then again, the flip side, I wasn't understanding about the fact that, okay, you being open about who you are, being open about what you struggle with, being open about what you're dealing with, being open about your journey and your growth, they'll see that and be like, you know, she's honest, she's raw, she's transparent, she's a human. I respect it, one, and then I can do this too. I hope I said that right. <laughs> it's like I was being cautious and I was looking at the negative side of things, not understanding the benefit of me doing what I would, me doing what it is that I want to do. It's more so thinking of the bad and I was being concerned. I was like trying to talk myself out of it instead of thinking about ways why I should, this is why I need to be doing this. I need to be doing this because of this reason, that reason. So that they can see what it's like to be a young black 
female believer in this life you know saying that i still have flaws but i still love god but i'm still doing what it is that needs to be done to get closer to him i'm still growing in my journey i may have weak moments i may be times where i'm struggling like these last few weeks i've been weak not even as far as just like spiritually weak but just like stuff that's been like hitting me just stuff that i've just been going through like you know i'm a real person like i'm a human being like i'm nothing's going to change life is not going not hit me i does not go and block life from happening for me just because i profess his name no they crucified jesus they talked about jesus the son of god if they did that to him i ain't no different i ain't nothing like him the thing is is that I can be able to get to the other side and I have this confidence knowing that, okay, I can go through these trials and tribulations, but I'm victorious because of him. I feel like I kind of went off on a tangent. So pretty much that just talk, that talk with God, just me, you know, writing down and just letting know how I feel and just asking him for his help and his guidance and like giving me the clarity to, you know, direct my channel and my influence in the right way. And since I'm small, it's no problem with rebranding myself. The videos that I posted previously was what I wanted. But the videos that's coming is what he wants. Simple. So I'm using this as a ministry. Yes, I want to encourage some people. Yes, I want to help some people out when it comes to their hair and their makeup and stuff like that. Yes, I want to be that help and that tool and that resource. But it's more than just the natural. It's the spiritual as well. So I want to be that help. I'm going to be that source as well. I'm going to be, you know, that encouragement and stuff like that as well. So when it comes to this, when it comes to Instagram, when it comes to any other social media platform that I have, if people don't want to follow me anymore, if I lose subscribers, if I lose, lose viewers, if I lose followers, whatever the case may be, you know, that's okay. Because the people who are caught to me are caught to me they're going to be coming the people who are meant to be seeing these videos are going to be seeing these videos the people who are meant to stumble across my instagram and find encouragement that's going to happen the people who are for me are going to be for me so if they have an issue for the people who i have an issue for what it is that i want to do but the people who have an issue just in general now when i just make little posts or on my stories or whatever talking about god if they don't want to if they don't want to keep clicking on or whatever the case may be for those people who ha have those issues now god bless you God bless you. It's okay. Like, I ain't mad. It's okay. Because it's more than just you in this world. It's more people coming. That was just pretty much, you know, where I was this morning. And I was like, I kind of want to talk about it. Just so you guys can understand me, what it is that I want with this channel. And, you know, give you guys ideas what's going to be coming next and what's going to be coming forward. I was nervous because I'm like, do I need to be telling these people how I feel and what's going on and everything? But I'm just like, that's what this walk is going to be about. Transparency, opening up and stuff like that. So I'm about to come on here and like tell y'all everything. <laughs> I'm not about to go in and crazy, but just as far as like this walk, I'm opening up about this walk. I want you, I'm opening up my journey. I'm opening up my relationship with God to the world so that you guys can find inspiration and see that you can do it too. So, you know, me writing this prayer down this morning and kind of like me making this video, I wanted to document one, both of these, both of these conversations. So that way, you know, when God starts to do the unthinkable, when as I start to grow, you know, accomplish a lot of things, this would be something I can be able to go back and look at and be like, wow, look at this. Look where I come, look where I came from. Look what God did. Because Deja Nicole, she's a brand. She may be small, but I'm a brand. I'm a brand and I'm going to be acting like I'm a brand this day forward. I'm going to be acting like I'm 100,000 subscribers in the game because I am. And not even trying to be cocky or anything like that. Like, I just know that I'm going to surpass, you know, what it is that I envision. Like, God is going to do greater. Everything is going to multiply. And one thing as far as this as well is that this this is not about me being a Christian influencer or an influencer in general, but specifically this situation is it's not about me anymore. It's not my, about me, you know, trying to get on here and look cute and be pretty, even though I'm gonna do that all the time. But it's about the people who are gonna be inspired by my testimony. It is about God. It is about the people who are gonna be saved. It's about the souls and stuff like that. Like it's not about me anymore. At this moment, it's just a declaration. And I'm speaking spiritually because this is who I am. 
but just in general like from this day forward like i will not be the same my channel will not be the same my platform will not be the same the people who are watching these videos will not be the same the people connected to me will not be the same like nothing nothing was ever the same to declare and make it known that greater is coming come on jacaylin car <laughs> jacaylin greater is coming greater is coming and kiki it's happening for me yes if y'all don't know about those songs go listen to them be blessed to be honest now that i think about it i talked about the why i started it what i wanted to be and where i see it going i talked about all of that i feel like <laughs> i know that this isn't the average video and i know it may be like kind of over all over the place or you thinking like well, what was this for or whatever but i just wanted to get that out there we're going to the next level i don't want to say me we're going to the next level because as long as you're serious about supporting me if i grow you grow god is anything else that you have for me to say but if you guys are liking my shirt this is from um god is dope i have like 30 shirts i have so many so much um items and everything from them but this is just i wore this shirt just for this just for this mood have you on a thank you god because I am. That's what it is. Before I go into the whole like, comment, subscribe, and all that other stuff, I just want to end this video living differently. Um, For myself and for you all, I just want to pray. Is that okay? Just to do like a quick little prayer. Um, But yeah. Um, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for allowing me to come to this moment and share what it is that you have put in me and everything that i was feeling god i thank you for the people that are watching this video um the people who are watching it now the day of the release and the people who come across it later on god i ask that you would just touch them in this moment god i ask that you would just allow something that i said to you know spark up something within themselves um towards you and things in that nature God, I just ask that you will, you know, allow me to be the vessel and the light that it is that I need to be for your people. God, I ask that in this time, God, during these pandemics, God, with COVID, God, with racism, and now coming up towards this election, God, that you will just ease everyone mind. God, I thank you for peace. God, I thank you for deliverance in this entire situation. God, I thank you for safety. God, and I thank you for health. God, for those who are worried, who are tired, who are struggling, God, who are weary. God, I ask that you would just be with them. God, I ask that you would just touch and bless every person who came across this video. God, that you would dispatch, God, your guardian angels, God, to be with them, God, and bring them back, God, on the next time. God, I just thank you for everything that you're doing within me, God, within us, God, within this platform, God, within this world. God, I just thank you for salvation and deliverance, God, in every area of my hour in the world's life, God. I ask that you would just continue to be with them in their everyday lives, God. That you will guide them, God, through the rest of the day, God. Allow them to feel your presence, God, your power, God, there with them, God. And I thank you for God. Thank you for allowing us to come together, God, and bring us back at the appointed time, God, on next week. God, with a new fire, God, with new ears, fresh ears, God, and an open heart and mind, God. And I thank you for God, and I believe it, and I receive it. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys have your post notifications on so you can be notified um, for the next time that I upload. That's it. That's the video for today. I know it's it's different. No, it probably wasn't what you guys used to or what you guys wanted, but that's it. But thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you guys were blessed. And see you next Wednesday. Bye. Take a chance, you never know. But you don't know it's beautiful.